I mean, it feels a lot, but in the same time, it doesn't feel anything. I mean, it doesn't mean anything because uh, right now I just need to get going, keep keep it going, you know. But of course, it feels good uh, to help the team win the game, you know, especially when the guys are down. Uh, I was also one of the go- those guys who stepped up today, so that's why I'm happy about it. Uh, but like I said, it means a lot, but it doesn't mean a lot, you know. What allowed you to grab those 10 rebounds though tonight? Because not just, and, and as a team, that's something that you guys have maybe struggled at so far this season. So maybe what helped you do that tonight? And maybe how can that help the team just in that area? Who just rebounding wise? Yeah. I mean, uh, when you start grabbing the rebounds, uh, sometimes it's coming to you, sometimes you're just in the paint and then uh, I think today most of our guys like Bucks out, especially Houston, they're a really huge offensive rebounding team. And then I just grabbed the rebounds on the pool. Uh, and then that allows me to be more focused on the defensive rebound because I was um, grabbing more. Coach Burke said that you you enjoy being the point guard when he told you in the second half that you would be handling it more. Um, you know, you, you've gotten probably more experience with that this year than most years. I, I guess, how has that kind of changed your game? I mean, you know, when you ball in your hands, you feel the game more. Uh, that's my um, mental things. Of course, it shouldn't be that way. You gotta be like focused. But when you dribble the ball down, uh, instead of just touching the ball every like three or four minutes, you have the ball every time. Even if you don't shoot it, you have the feeling of the ball. Sometimes as a scorer, it's hard to like uh, get that feeling. But when you're as a point guard, you feel like you have the control. And then uh, there's a lot of guys who's looking for you. And then uh, you feel like they got your back. Uh, that's why it gives more confidence. And then um, I feel real confidence when I play point guard. I don't feel pressure when I bring the ball down. I know what I'm calling. You know, I know uh, where to go, either Joel, Tobias, like said, while we're running. I think it's important to know as a point guard. You've been with Dan Burke for a little over a year now. What's it been like to work with Dan Burke? I think he deserves a lot of credit. Uh, I don't know anybody in the team who doesn't like him. Uh, it's hard to create it as a coach because sometimes coaches in our asses, you know. <laughs> Uh, to be honest, and then he's a defensive coach. He is even more, uh, but it's still uh, it's hard to create that love, respect in the same time. Uh, we all respect each other, but also when you put love in there. So as a player, you want to play more uh, with more desire for him, and then you want to win more for him. Uh, I really believe in him. I really like him. Uh, like I said, like I'm really happy for him. You know, I've been with Joel obviously your whole career. Just this this stretch in particular, maybe what has most impressed you about the way he's played the last five, six, seven games? I mean, uh, right now, I'm not surprised anything that Joel does on the floor because like, he really takes a huge step. Like, uh, He plays on a different level. I don't know even how to describe it, how to explain his game because like, he can do everything right now. Like, It's not just like post-up, it's not just face-up. Like, He had a really good package, you know? And also this year, uh, he started to read the game much better. Uh, I can tell from his eyes when I'm on the court with him. Like he knows where's the guys, where's the defenders coming from, where is open. Uh, actually, if he make more shots, he's gonna get more assists. You know, uh, he's gonna have more triple doubles. But uh, I think he risked the game more uh, this year. When you know, like as a teammate, well, did did you know he was that close to a triple double? And just what is that like as teammates when you know that that's like percolating, that that's almost there, where you're trying not to force it, but obviously hoping that it happens at some point. I mean, most of the games, it's a close game. You know, it's hard to like look at the scoreboard. So what I did, what Joel did, you know, we just play the games. Uh, I didn't actually know like he was uh, that close. Uh, but it's Joel, like I said, it's not surprising anymore for me. He had a triple double or like double double. Of course, he does it every game, but like uh, I'm not surprised. Thanks, Mark. Thank you.